It's Hump Day News in under four minutes. Welcome to Hump Day News. Let's get started. Let's get political. Donald Trump is our president. <sighs> but you know what? I hope he does a good job. He's a successful businessman, and I hope he surrounds himself with smart economic minds that'll boost our economy. But he went bankrupt like six times. Yeah, and he's still a millionaire. In order to make it big, you have to have some failures and be able to overcome them, which he has. OMG, Jay, I cannot believe you are a Trump supporter. I'm not at all. I just realized that we lost. He won. There's nothing we can do to change it. And if you can't get out of it, get into it. What's trending? Bars are now offering angel shots nowadays to keep women safe. So basically, if your date isn't going well, or if you're not feeling safe, you can order an angel shot, and it will prompt the waitress or bartender to react. And there's a different reaction that corresponds with different variations of the angel shot. I think it's a good way to keep women safe. I just think it's sad that it's come to this. International news. U.S. Navy ships fires warning shots at Iranian boats that were approaching at high rates of speeds. There's nothing more to that story because the Iranians ain't going to do nothing about it because the U.S. Navy has the best Navy in the world. So we might as well move on. Entertainment. The Golden Globes were last night and the biggest winner was La La Land. They won Best Musical or Comedy Motion Picture, Best Director or Motion Picture, Best Original Score, Best Screenplay, and the Best Actor and Best Actress both came from La La Land. I guess I gotta go see that movie. Another winner, Meryl Streep's Twitter mentions. You can go ahead and add her to the growing list of people beefing with Donald Trump. This is gonna be a long four years. Sports! 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 Clemson won the national title. Roll Tide got rolled. I'm kind of glad Alabama lost though. Alabama fans are so annoying. But at least they won recently. Ain't nothing worse than an arrogant fan base who hasn't won anything in 20 years. The NFL playoffs are rolling, and they're rolling without Odell Beckham Jr. He's not really upset though. He got Trey Songs to comfort him. Here! Yeah. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, like, share, repeat. Let me know what you think. See you next week.